Mark Dempster, who himself was a vendor and has a very different story to Marvina, but one worth hearing. Hello, guys. How you doing? Um, right, yeah, that was great then, Marvina, and uh, and I just want to also like give the big issue a big a big G up, really, you know, because it's uh, you can't really see see when you're up here, you can't. The lights are so bright, but. Um, just to give you a, a little bit of history, how I became from a vendor of where I am now is um, many years ago, so we go right back to the 90s, the sort of early 90s, when the Big Issue first started, I started to sell the Big Issue. And my, my reason for selling the Big Issue was to stop committing crime, really, because I was a really active drug user at the time, an alcoholic. Uh, I came from a criminal family. I'd been involved in a lot of drug dealing, a lot of stuff when I was younger. And, um, and I was hopelessly addicted to drugs. But during the times that my friends around Brixton, this was years ago, had said, listen, if you go and sell the big issue, because I was getting arrested, continually getting arrested, it says, well, it's a way you're making some money and w making the money legally. And, you know, and while you're doing that, you're distracted. So you're not using so much drugs when you're selling the big issue or you're not drinking so much alcohol. So. So that's what I'd done. And when I, was, when I was selling the big issue, my friend, I had a friend, Scottish friend called Paul, and uh, he was just about to enter detox. And he said to me, listen, Mark, you can get clean. You can get, I know a way, you know, like I'm going to go into this detox. And uh, so he went in, and then I'd I, I never seen him for, for maybe about six months or so. And then the next time I seen him, he was clean, a completely revamped man. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you take away the drugs, you take away the chemical addiction, he was a, a completely different character. And because he wasn't obviously imprisoned and snared by his addiction. So, uh, <clears throat> so when I seen him, but in between that time, the guys at the big issue office, which was then back down in Victoria, were saying to me, you know, you should try it too, because they could see he was in a bad way. And, um, so I was getting influenced by the, by the staff when I was collecting the papers. Because every week that I came in there, I looked worse and worse. And so I, uh, I took the step, and this was in December 1996. And, and I can say I've, I, I, this year, this, well, this December the 4th, I'll be 20 years clean and sober Whoa. without a drug. Yeah, it is. And it's, I, I've got to say, man, it is miraculous. You could not stop me drinking for, I, mean, I, should, get, I should point this to John Burt. You could not stop me drinking for one day, never mind 20 years, it's like, or one hour. Or, and, uh, so, and in that time, and now I'm a trustee in a big issue, but in that time, I mean, just, it's just, I'm, I'm now I've got a Harley Street addiction practice. So, and this is where I've got to go right now. I've got a client in a little bit down in Harley Street. So I, uh, so I created that, I've wrote a couple of books, a bit like James, you're going to hear James's story later on, I've wrote two books, I wrote a biography and I wrote a self-help book, and you know, and I'm just about to start a radio, me and, it, oh, it looks like me and Russell Brand are going to start this radio station, this radio programme just for addiction and recovery, starting from after January, um, and it's just when, I've just went, I just, I went, I, I qualified, I became a therapist, I, so I was in treatment and I was watching all the therapists and I was thinking, my God, and I met a guy who was a therapist who I knew his family, who were all involved in organised crime and bank robberies and such, and he was a therapist and I thought, Jesus, if he can be a therapist, anybody can, and, uh, and, and you know, if somebody can revamp their life so much, I thought, I can do the same, so... I started to train to be a therapist and then I just carried on and I became, and this is the thing, you know, you have a lot of skills and, you know, like the big issue sellers and stuff, we've got tenacity, we've got resilience, we've got, you know, we've got lots of control and willfulness. And if you put all that and you channel the negative aspects of the addiction, because once, you, you know, I'm always, I've always got an addictive personality. So if you can harness it, and channel it in the right way, you can do amazing things in your life. So I went and I just, I just got qualification after qualification, and, uh, and it's just, it just went from strength to strength. But so I want to just say to the big issue, thank you, John Bird, thank you, everyone that's helped and that's been on that journey, and uh, have a great night, guys. <laughs>